How fast can you learn to code and get a job as a web developer? Hey, what's going on? I'm Dorian and this is my channel where I talk about learning how to code and how I became a self-taught programmer. If that's something you're into, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. So just how long does it take to learn web development is what you might be asking yourself. And the truth is, it depends. As simple of an answer as it is, it's really the truth. It really just depends on how much time do you have to commit to learning. And you can't just learn web development by doing one course or completing one tutorial. It's just, it's not that simple. And I mean, while you might get a high level understanding of web development from one course or one tutorial, you're not gonna become a web developer just by doing that. And you know, boot camps do a better job of getting you prepared and job ready and they cost a lot of money too. And then there's online boot camps that cost a little bit less and claim to, you know, get you a job as well. And while I've never done one of those and I can't really talk on those, I don't know how much of it's true. And I did look into some of them. I also looked into some of those that will kind of hire you as a junior developer and then put you on a weird contract and have you pay them back if you don't work for them. And you just be careful with stuff like that because there's a lot of shady shit on the internet and you don't want to you don't want to do that don't be so desperate um i know i was very desperate you know I, I worked for free i i volunteered my time on a website just to get experience i made free websites for friends i i get it i understand you know i was standing out there with the will code for food sign i i know how it goes i know how hard it is when you're learning and you feel like you're ready for a job but nobody's calling you back and you just don't know why you're not able to get a job after you've spent so much time learning. And the truth is, although you spend a lot of time learning, it's not so much how much time you spent learning, because I spent a lot of time learning, but I wasn't job ready until I had a few things together. You could spend three months or you can spend a year getting all of this together and making yourself presentable to a potential employer. And really all you need to get a job as a web developer is a few good projects under your belt, a nice portfolio, a good resume, and a GitHub account. And just how long it takes you to build all those things is completely on you. But that's where the beauty of being self-taught is, right? You can, you know, hunker down and code 16 hours a day if you're young and you don't pay rent and you live with your parents, or if you're currently unemployed and you have nothing else to do, or you might only be able to commit a few hours every night after you're done with your day job and this is something that you're trying to do over the next year or two, it doesn't really matter how long it takes you to get there. It's, it's getting there that matters. That's it. You know, it just takes some people longer and that's okay if it takes you a little bit longer. You could learn it very fast. I, I have heard stories of people getting jobs within three months of learning how to code and and that's spectacular that's amazing to me you know it it took me like four months to even show someone else my code or my portfolio outside of my friends and family um so you know was i job ready then probably not could i have been maybe if i would have had a little bit of better direction i was completely self-taught and had no idea what i was doing like many of you are out there and it's okay to be lost right now, especially if it's like the first month or your first week in trying to learn how to code. Just take your time, figure out what you wanna learn and take it one step at a time, you know, baby steps. Don't, don't try to jump in all at once and try to figure it out all at once because you're gonna set yourself up for failure if you do that. Trust me, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button to help me out with that YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning how to code and becoming a web developer. And if you're able to build all those things, then it doesn't really matter how long it takes you to get there. Um, you know, it really just depends how much time you have to dedicate to it. I myself kind of have a extreme personality type. And when I like jump into something, I I'm all in. And I kind of did that with code. So there was many days that I spent 
the entire day on my laptop. Days off that I didn't have to work, I would wake up in the morning, you know, brew some coffee, open up my laptop, and I would fall asleep with it on my lap, on the couch, or wherever I was in the house. But it was attached to me. And I was determined to learn how to code, and you know, I spent every waking moment doing it. You don't have to do that. Honestly, it's not healthy, and I'm lucky that I didn't burn out. But, you know, everyone's different, and just learn at your own pace. But don't focus on how much time you're spending learning. Focus on what you're building and your progress on getting to being job ready. That's really all that matters. Everything else in between doesn't. How long you spend, you know, trying to learn HTML, how long you spend trying to learn CSS, you know, if JavaScript doesn't click and then all you know is HTML and CSS, build some really cool stuff in HTML and CSS. There are some really talented developers that, you know, are experts in HTML and CSS. And there are people that make works of art with just HTML and CSS and it, it's amazing. I mean, really, you can do that with just HTML and CSS. And I guarantee you, if you can build something like that, you're gonna get a job pretty much anywhere. But most of us aren't gonna be able to build that when we're first starting out. But it's okay, just, just keep learning. As long as you're learning every day, as long as you're a little bit better than you were the day before, that is all that matters. Keep building, keep adding to your portfolio, keep adding to your, to your projects, keep adding to your GitHub, keep committing code every day, keep building, building and building. You know, I remember telling my wife at one point, I don't care, I'm gonna get so good that someone is eventually gonna have to hire me. And when you're self-taught and you don't go to a boot camp and you didn't spend a bunch of money on college and you didn't spend a bunch of time learning all that stuff that employers look for and you're self-taught, you kind of have to make yourself stand out just a little bit. You know, it, it depends where you're applying. It depends who's looking at your resume. But a lot of times to get filtered through, you know, that initial human resources filtering, you really got to stand out if you're self-taught. So just try to present yourself as best as you can and keep building those projects and getting better until no one can deny you a job. That's it, that's all you gotta do. I know it sounds, it sounds easy, right? But the truth is that that's it. How determined are you to get this? You can, you can spend a lot of time doing other stuff. I know that it's, it's very easy to get into a groove of doing the same thing over and over and getting comfortable and you know, when you're the most uncomfortable, a lot of times that's when you grow the most. So get uncomfortable, feel uncomfortable. Learning to code was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever had to do. And it still is, I, I, I'm still, three years later, I am still learning to code and I will never stop learning because that's the beauty of programming and that's, that's, that's how cool this is, that you get to do something that that is always changing and is always keeping you on your toes and is always there's always something new and cool and and hip and awesome and fun to learn so get out there and go learn it if you feel that you really really need the structure of a school or you really 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 need the structure of a boot camp i get it i felt that way but give it a try self-taught first just a month maybe two i don't feel like a month is enough but give it some time and really try to learn on your own. Like really, really try. Say you're gonna sign up for a boot camp. Some boot camps make you go eight hours a day. Just do that on your own for a week and see how far you get. Go on freecodecamp.org and just do it for a week, eight hours a day. And then really think about, do you wanna spend eight grand on a boot camp or going back to community college to get an applied science degree that really is like this two year certification program that the community college in Las Vegas when I was there offered that basically it was a, it was like a year and a half or a year and eight months that would teach you how to code for the most part. I, I looked at the curriculum and it was, it, I mean, it, it had a lot of good stuff on there, but it was gonna cost thousands of dollars and it was gonna take me two years to complete and not even get a job just to complete that and get an uh, applied science degree which I'm sure would have helped me get a job, but I did it in way less time completely on my own. So with all that said, if you're, you know, kind of trying to 
get at it as fast as you can and you feel like you just got to go, 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 go and, and you're not and you're not getting a job fast enough, it's okay. Take your time. Just everybody's journey is different. But as long as you keep working every day, as long as you keep improving a little bit every day, and as long as you keep building those projects, you'll get there. Trust me. And with all that said, please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.